What is up, Media and Popcorn fam? It's Brandon Collins back with another interview. This one is with the talent behind the new Hulu horror film, Bad Hair, with director Justin Simeon and star L. Lorraine. Be sure to check out the full review on Bad Hair on the Media and Popcorn podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Amazon Music. Also, don't forget to check out the AFCA YouTube page for a full interview with Justin and L. Now, let's talk some bad hair. Hi, everyone. Brandon Collins. Uh, love the film. Uh, I was curious, uh, what was what was the inspiration for making this story, which is about hair, and specifically in the Black community, a horror film? And L, if you could speak a little bit about being a scream queen. <laughs> uh, all hail our new scream queen. <laughs> I love it. Um it really started watching a movie called The Wig, uh, which is uh, it's Japanese and it's um, about a possessed wig. Uh, and it is bonkers. And, you know, th- there wasn't like an obvious American translation to it. And I, I just found myself kind of rabbit holing into uh, hair horror, which is, you know, it's not quite a full subgenre, but there's a lot of, you know, even in something like The Grudge, like wet black hair seems to be this constant horror motif in Asian horror films. Uh, And I went looking for something like that that was American and there really wasn't anything. And it was just one of those crazy ideas that, you know, reminded me of Little Shop of Horrors, but also Rosemary's Baby and also, you know, all those kind of like movies that have really schlocky, campy premises. But the filmmakers take them seriously enough to where it it starts to mean something on the other side. Uh, Body Snatchers is another example. Um, And, you know, it was just it just caught it caught me, it just caught me, you know, some of these things like I don't really plan for, I just kind of couldn't stop thinking about doing a hair horror movie uh, with black people in it. And, uh, you know, this was, this was before um, I saw Get Out in theaters and it was just one of those, it was one of many things that I had written a treatment for and was just sort of parked, you know, on the desk of potential financiers and then Get Out happened and it was like, oh, oh, okay, these make money. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and do bad hair. Fantastic. And, uh, you know, that's what pushed it through. Um, I mean, what an honor, first off. So I feel honored, but honestly, it was really important for me to play this character as honest and as real as possible. And in said situation, what would this person who never experienced anything like this Uh, How would she react? What would she be feeling and going through? So, you know, I feel honored. And I just tried to play her as real and as honest as possible. But, you know, I'm looking forward to all that's coming out of it now. I'm just having a great time with it. Yeah. Thank you. Great job. Keep this title for a minute. (laughs) Absolutely. Uh. So if you get pisses or you're 